Bonsai is the Japanese and East Asian art of growing and training miniature trees in containers, developed from the traditional Chinese art form of pinging. <clears throat> pinging and bonsai differ in that the former attempts to display wilder, more naturalistic scenes, often representing landscapes, including elements such as water, rocks, or figurines. On the other hand, bonsai typically focuses on a single tree or a group of trees of the same species, with a higher level of aesthetic refinement. <clears throat> The loanword bonsai has become an umbrella term in English, attached to many forms of diminutive potted plants, and also on occasion to other living and non-living things. According to Stephen Orr in the New York Times, the term should be reserved for plants that are grown in shallow containers following the precise tenets of bonsai pruning and training, resulting in an artful miniature replica of a full-grown tree in nature. In the most restrictive sense, bonsai refers to miniaturized, container-grown trees adhering to Japanese tradition and principles. The Japanese art of bonsai originated from the Chinese practice of penjing. From the 6th century onward, imperial embassy personnel and Buddhist students from Japan visited and returned from mainland China. <coughs> they brought back many Chinese ideas and goods, including container plantings. Over time, these container plantings began to appear in Japanese writings and representative art. In the 1990 book The World in Miniature, the sinologist Rolf Stein notes that a range of early Taoist practices focused on the magical power of tiny things. Taoist hermits, and also Buddhist monks, created miniature gardens as objects of contemplation, full of dwarfed plants, rock-sized mountains, and lakes the depth of teacups. These spaces provided a form of virtual travel, not unlike how books function for us today. There are several basic styles of bonsai. Chakan style bonsai trees have a trunk that grows straight upward and branches that extend left, right, forward and behind in a well-balanced manner. Chakan style trees have a slanted trunk that leans to one side. Muyogi style trees have a curved S-shaped trunk. Fukunagashi style describes a tree that is shaped by strong winds, with bent trunks and branches growing in one direction, and Kangai style describes a tree that curves downward, which can be found in areas with steep slopes such as cliffs. While all types of bonsai trees have a tree shape that tends to suit them best, the most important thing to keep in mind is to allow the tree to express its individuality freely, without forcing it to fit any particular category, and to help it achieve its most beautiful, balanced form. Just as people choose clothes in which they look good, choosing containers that best suit the trees in terms of size, shape, and color allows the bonsai to be seen in the loveliest light. The process of raising bonsai requires controlling the kind of shape the trees take. Sometimes you need to bend branches with wires or to cut them off altogether. <clears throat> you might think that's cruel, but these steps are essential for the tree to remain healthy in a pot. The trees have a life of their own, of course, and grow in accordance to the laws of nature, so they can never be completely controlled by humans. The key is not to force your will on them but to appreciate the dignity of each living plant and treat them with love and respect. <clears throat> bonsai that have been watered and lovingly looked after day by day can make a deep and lasting impression on the viewer, particularly when such trees are centuries old and have been handed down from one generation of bonsai lovers to another. Unlike other works of art, there are no such thing as finished bonsai as long as the trees are still alive and growing, they must continue to be tended to on a daily basis. That's why bonsai growing is sometimes called an art without end. For many enthusiasts, though, it's precisely this timelessness that makes raising bonsai so rewarding and worthwhile. Pruning Branches are pruned with scissors and other tools to adjust the shape of the tree. A young bonsai tree being pruned for the first time requires particular care, since its basic shape and style will be decided then. When the tree gets a little older, branches are cut to achieve a better balance, taking into consideration things like the direction, density, and length of the branches. A tree that is nearly fully grown is pruned to maintain its beauty. Bonsai are living plants and will get bigger if nothing is done. Pruning helps control their size, but its purpose is not to stunt a bonsai tree's growth, it's a technique for tapping the natural tendency of plants to grow to create shapes that are pleasing to the eye. When and in what ways branches are cut vary depending on the type of plant. Proper pruning can promote the healthy growth of bonsai by allowing it to receive plenty of sun and air. Wiring Wiring involves attaching wires to the trunk and branches to create a desired turn or correct an unnatural curve. Aluminum and copper wires are commonly used, although aluminum is easier to manage and is suited for beginners. 
Wires come in more than 10 different thicknesses, which one is used depends on the size and hardness of the branch. <coughs> wires are usually wrapped from the trunk and then from the lower to the upper branches, although they sometimes cover just a small part of the tree that needs to be altered. When the wires are left on for too long, they can start eating into the enlarging branches and injure the plant. Bonsai growers have to be careful to remove the wiring before this happens. When a desired effect isn't obtained, a tree may have its trunks and branches wired all over again. Wiring is a way of producing a more pleasing shape, it's not a way of forcing a cultivator's ego onto a bonsai. The wires are used to bring out each tree's true personality and distinctiveness, not to suppress them. Some people feel sorry for a tree that's all wired up, but it's not much different from an adult helping a child to grow up strong and healthy. Growers don't look down on their bonsai, they regard their bonsai as a friend or a child on whom they lavish their love to help them grow strong and healthy. Wiring is a way to help a tree reach its full potential. Repotting The key to having a healthy bonsai is to keep its roots fit. This requires regular repotting, a process where overgrown roots are pruned and replanted in new soil. First of all, the bonsai must be removed from the pot, and the soil carefully cleaned from the roots. The roots are then trimmed by about one-third. When replanting, you have to be careful not to leave any pockets of air in the soil. The same pot may be used again or a larger one chosen to accommodate a bigger tree. The color and shape are also important considerations